So um, I think that, uh, yeah, we saw the bottom of Bitcoin Cash. I think the odds uh, are really um, uh, have increased for that. Um, and uh, I missed the bottom. I really hate that. But uh, I think I'm gonna have to admit that. I bought at 250 US dollars and um, I didn't buy after that. But it continued to drop to 75 US dollars and um, I didn't buy any. And um, it's a pity. Um, but uh, what's done is done. Um, I think the video of uh, Dope Forever I will link below. Um, makes a good case why uh, the bottom is likely uh, over for Bitcoin Cash. It's a, 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 she calls it a textbook bottom where you have a strong V a bottom. And then after that a very strong rebound. <coughs> it went from 75 to 220 US dollars uh, in one or two days and then um, and now it's 150 or so or 160 over 70 but um, but also the volume was tremendous, uh, higher than ever before. So, yeah, that's a pity. Um, but I do think that there is still a good chance to pick them up cheaper. Um, when we get uh, the bottom for Bitcoin, I think, uh, well, everything will correct strongly then again. And so in the case of Bitcoin Cash and Ethereum, uh, it's a similar story, I think, with Ethereum, though I haven't studied it. but. Um, Ethereum also, well, uh, Ethereum maybe not, I, I don't know about it, I haven't studied it, but uh, it's possible that these coins uh, do a double bottom. Um, so instead of making a new low, they come in the neighborhood of their, um, of their, um, of, of their uh, bottom, uh, which was for Ethereum 70 US dollars and for Bitcoin Cash 75, something like that, or 80 for Ethereum. Uh, and that they come in that neighborhood again, so I think putting orders up at uh, around 100 US dollars for these coins um, is a smart move uh, to pick them up and that's what I'm planning to do and so uh, I changed my mind uh, I don't think um, uh, I was planning to actually uh, put my uh, buy orders even lower for Bitcoin cash but uh, then the 40 or 50 dollars that I put them but um, I'm not gonna do that um, so 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 um, it's often a, a, a wise move uh, to admit as soon as possible when you were wrong, uh, so that you can do some damage control. And I think that's the case here. Um, it's uh, I, I didn't see it then uh, because the volume was still low um, when we were around 75 or 80 US dollars for Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I was really thinking very hard to buy, but uh, since for Bitcoin itself there was not a bottom. Um, because the volume was too low and there were many other indicators so I was really convinced and also the timing was off I was really convinced and still am that that was not the crypto bottom and that's why I decided not to buy Bitcoin Cash because I was still convinced the, the Bitcoin Cash will very likely bottom together with all other coins when Bitcoin bottoms later on but um, of course um, that doesn't have to be the case um, in previous bear markets the Ripple bottomed before Bitcoin um, but it was the only one. Uh, actually, there was another coin, also Dogecoin. Someone pointed out to me also bottomed before Bitcoin in the last bear market of 2014. But, uh, but these are exceptions to the rule. All the other coins, to my knowledge, bottomed together with Bitcoin or after. So, uh, but, uh, but, but uh, things are changing. Uh, Bitcoin has lost a lot of market share. So. It is also logical that there will be more coins now that bottom before Bitcoin uh, bottoms. And, uh, and of course the lead contenders are Ethereum and are a coin like Bitcoin Cash um, who are um, the new kids on the block that actually make a chance to uh, beat Bitcoin and, and, and also belong to the bigger coins like Ripple was at the time and still is today. Um, so. Mm, yeah, and, and you have to look at the facts. Uh, I'm not a technical analyst, but um, yeah, if it's true that uh, it was a, a textbook bottom uh, formation, well, then that's true. Uh, I take that for uh, for truth then. But also uh, something else. Actually, it it did it did hover around eighty dollars for three or four days. So I think that's not a real V bottom then. Eh? Like. 
I don't know, like, I, I don't remember, I have to check the charts, but when Bitcoin bottomed in 2015, in January, at $160, I don't remember, it was for three days at $160, no, it was only one day, so um, that's a, a point against. Eh? Um, so, yeah, but, um, yeah. I would say, like, for me, like, there is, like, a case to be made that the bot we've seen the bottom for Bitcoin Cash, but there is also a case to be made that we have not and that we will see a new low. But so what's the average of that? Well, the average of that is it's just a double bottom <laughs> and it's not a new low, eh? but it's also not... Uh, uh, it also means it will come close to that bottom again. So, so yeah, around hundred dollars, I think, is a good uh, point to put uh, your orders to be sure that they get filled, and then it may still go to eighty again. But um, well, you you have your orders uh, filled. So, so that's my uh, strategy for the future. Beautiful tree here, um, and then something else that I'm also uh, starting to take a look in is uh, leverage because well we can only invest our own money and investing other people money other people's money I think is a bad idea uh, that's a waste of time um, and it's not the future I think uh, in cryptocurrencies <coughs> the future is that people <coughs> actually become more much more active in investing uh, as in the past in the past it was only for the rich that invest in stocks and and maybe uh, real estate but uh, but in the future is going to be different people are gonna have their um, own pet projects they're uh, like people that invest in cryptocurrencies are young people huh? um, uh, 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 and very broad based uh, like a very broad base of the population uh, it's not just rich people actually it's people that have no money at all that start investing in crypto so 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 and it's not it's yeah it's 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 not like traditional investments, more like a pet, um, fan clubs or something. Um, so, I think uh, many many more people, most people in the future, will actually invest in crypto uh, coins and have their favorite coins. And so, that's the future. Uh, intermediaries, investment intermediaries, will be uh, much less of a need. So. So, but uh, and also, if you have ever done that, to run funds or run other, or even help family invest money, it's just really, uh, it's really a shitty job eh? because uh, people uh, usually, uh, when they start investing, are idiots, and so they only start investing uh, at the peak of the bubble, and then it goes down. It's all your fault, eh? and you never get paid for uh, the privilege of making the money. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, but you do get um, eye rolls uh, when when they lose money. So uh, very few people give uh, proper credit and pay you properly for uh, the energy uh, that you uh, put into uh, their money. Uh, so uh, I think that's a bad idea. But what's a good idea? I think is to well um, leverage your own money if you do it wisely. Um, and, I, and I'm starting to look into that for crypto. Uh, so that's after you went all in and you want to invest more, you can go with leverage. And uh, I think it makes sense, but uh, only uh, when the sideways movement is finished and you are clearly in an uptrend. Uh, and the bull market has clearly started according to all technical indicators. Uh, only then I think uh, uh, it's a good idea because then the risk is very low. Also actual undervaluation but will be the highest on the Trollo chart uh, even though pr fiat price will be higher eh? not bottom prices anymore uh, actually undervaluation will be also still uh, will continue to go up I think at that point is a great point to um, leverage and for example Kraken offers um, great uh, services uh, there and uh, new services uh, I think you can it depends on your um, verification level but you can uh, borrow like 50, 50,000 US dollars, 50,000 euros, uh, and 250 uh, Bitcoin uh, to invest in the market, uh, and even more uh, other stuff. Um, and that uh, may be very interesting. Um, and you only need uh, one third collateral. Uh, so, uh, uh, and you can, if you have even a tier four, uh, borrow 500,000 US dollars, 500,000 euros. 
and uh, 2,500 uh, bitcoins um, and invest in, in my case, Bitcoin Cash or um, something else. Uh, also, you can invest in Ethereum um, and uh, Ripple and some other coins. So, uh, that's really cool. Uh, the only uh, disadvantage is very high uh, costs. Um, uh, it's like zero point... Um, they even do the, the, the interest rate per four hours, but it turn, it's, it's, it's about... If you look at 24 hours, it's like uh, 0.1%, which is very high. But then you look at how much is that per month, it's like 3% per month, yeah, that's a lot. And how much is it per year, 40% per year, that you pay uh, to borrow that money. But yeah, if there's an uptrend, uh, that may be a very good move um, because uh, the returns are much higher uh, than 40% uh, per year uh, if you invest uh, at the right time in crypto. Uh, it's a lot higher. Huh? So, um, so yeah, uh, worth investigating but uh, not certainly not worth doing yet. Um, and, and it does mean that um, if I succeed in going all in um, uh, and then uh, you, the sideways movement has started, uh, it will be another uh, half year from here for the bottom, then a year and a half for sideways movement, so it's two years from here, only then I would consider to sell a piece of my crypto um, uh, for fiat and then be able to uh, buy basically um, uh, three times more, uh, two times more uh, of the same crypto um, and because you need collateral funds so 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 um, uh, yeah, I have to figure out the details but I think that can be interesting thanks so much for watching